Welcome to Miami guys. We're in Overtown, the historic city here in Miami with a lot of history. And while we're gonna be trying some delicious food over here. Basically, a lot of black African-American chefs got together, prepared a lot of food, and they gave it over to this organization over here. And basically what's going on is that the children here have been getting killed. Five children have been lost over the last year and a half, which is one too many, and nothing has been really done about it. So all the money that's gonna be gained over here is gonna be donated to the families, the victims, all this gun violence right here in Overtown. So let's go check out the food. So we're doing a $20 donation, but with that donation, you get a plate. Your plate comes with four tickets. These two, with one, you get protein, with the other one, you get a dessert, and with these two, you get your side. Free range for everything. Yeah, 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 come on, don't be shy, girl, come on. All right, guys, so she's recommending that I try the collard greens and the mac and cheese, so I'm gonna go with that, please. Check it out guys, my whole life growing up in Miami and I never tried collard greens before so I'm excited about this. The mac and cheese looks good, this chicken curry looks phenomenal and then there's a new one right here, he called it chicken stew. Gonna give that bad boy a try and we got the banana pudding over here. First things first, we're gonna try the collard greens. Mmm. Man, that is good. Next up, check it out. Let's go for the mac and cheese. Look at that. This is a classic right here in these communities. Mac and cheese. Mmm. Mmm. So far, this soul food is touching my soul. Especially this mac and cheese, man. It's super, super cheesy. Check the next one out, guys. Chicken curry. That looks phenomenal. Now, you guys know I love chicken curry. Mm. That is some delicious chicken curry. Now, it shares some similarities with Indian chicken curry, but it has its own touch in there. Definitely feel that curry powder. However, it's been seasoned a little different. There's something else in here that's giving this unique flavors. Mm. 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 That's good right there. I'm getting all my veggies in. Not missing any of these collard greens. Check that out. We got some apple cider to go with it. You guys should come over here and help out the food and support uh, support people and support Chas's little girl that died. Absolutely. Support my little sister. Next up, guys. I believe it was called the chicken stew. Huh? Oh. Hello. Hey. How are you? Good. What is your name? Um, Maria. Yeah, that's a beautiful name. Hey, what's up, champ? What's your name? Makai. Makai. Nice to meet you. I'm Carlos. Hi. It's a YouTuber. Oh man. This chicken's phenomenal guys. It's all about the gravy on top of it. I think I'm gonna get some rice and get some of this gravy on top of it. I think it's gonna make a perfect combination. We're gonna do that. Check that out right there. Yeah, it's the banana pudding. Have you tried this? It's good. It's good? It's good, but you didn't like it too much? Too sweet maybe? No. Bananas in it. I don't like bananas. Ah, okay. So yeah, then it won't work out. I do like bananas though, so I'm gonna give these guys a go. Check it out. The banana pudding. You didn't get the crackers, you got the banana. It's good though, I don't know what you're talking about. This like is it. delicious. I don't like it. 
Let's try it with the crackers. Wait, I got it from over there. The yep. Oh, what all they got, like apple juice or just banana pudding? Oh, they have a few other things, uh, peach cobbler or something like that. Alright, come on, let's go this Gotta try it with the cookie. Mmm. 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 Man, this right here is phenomenal. This is simply phenomenal, guys. On the dessert rating, this gets a 10, flat out. My name is Octavius, but they call me Fresh. So, Mr. Fresh, AKA Fresh Division, Mr. Shoot the Party Up. This is my IG right there. Y'all can see it, Fresh Division 305. Y'all follow me, you want video contest, photo contest, you get at me and I got you, no problem, no worry about it. This right here, this banana pudding, this is a must try. 110%. Every single part of this must be eaten. It is that good. So what is it called? Yeah, what is it exactly? Does it have a special name or it's just... Well, I have a nickname for it. It's called, uh, called a fat girl. It's a fat girl? That's the nickname you got for it? Yeah, call a fat girl. The guy over here, um, Sticky Fingers, his name is Cliff, over here. The real man over here. Okay. Oh, he, he, he does grills, so he built this for me. Oh, he built it by hand himself? Yeah, well, he, yeah, well, pretty much, yeah. Wow. And especially used for chicken and ribs. Chicken, ribs, if you want fish, if you want to smoke and grill. And you want that smoky favorite, you throw him in there. I can slap it on here. Whoa, look at those ribs right there. Got ribs up here, got ribs in the bag back here. And it's your specialty that you how you prepare them? Well me personally, I keep it pretty simple, you know what I'm saying? Salt, pepper, garlic, and a little bit of other stuff I can't tell you about. But I tell you I gotta kill you. That's your secret, alright. <laughs> Don't tell me. Barbecue sauce on top. Got a little bit of traditional barbecue sauce and a little bit of mustard base. A little bit of what? I'm sorry. Mustard base. Mustard base. Uh, that's a new one for me right there. There you go. And you just set up shop around Miami and. I'm in North. I'm in North Miami. Uh, if you're familiar with the club Coco's, yeah, I'm right around the corner from there. All right, you prepare. So, Grill Daddy Barbecue Pit. Follow me on Instagram, Grill Daddy Barbecue Pit. Uh, Instagram. Facebook, all that. I'm on them. Good Daddy's Barbecue Pit. Over here we have the vegan truck. Over here we got the Fat Girl Grill serving the barbecue ribs and some grilled chicken. And over there is the buffet platter that we saw. And this right here is what I'm about to eat. The seafood rice with some crab meat and crab legs. I went ahead and got some more mac and cheese. And we saw these beautiful ribs that he prepared. Right there you see the crab meat. I need to try this. Guys, this rice is delicious, but we need to try this right now. We need to try this. Have some barbecue sauce and another sauce. I think he said mustard or something like that, mustard base. Not sure, but smells delicious. Mm. Mm. Too good, too good. You guys need to try these ribs out. I'm tempted to try the chicken as well. The smoky flavors that that the fat girl girl gives it, amazing. Look what I found in my seafood rice. A crab leg. Mm. Some good meat right there. I'm trying to suck it all out. Oh, you gotta get on frame. There you go. So uh, this is the Center for Black Innovation. Uh, it's a uh, 
a space that started out as a co-working space and we changed it to be a, a space for uh, research policy, uh, a pretty much a think and do tank around black entrepreneurship, black economics, um, and uh, tech technology and entrepreneurship. And so uh, my private brand, uh, which is thehungryblackman.com, uh, we're one of the largest black food uh, bloggers in the nation. Uh, and uh, we are national, but our headquarters are here in Miami. And um, we, I was actually, excuse me, driving down 7th Avenue where I heard about uh, a, a triple shooting. And uh, one of the victims was a six-year-old a little girl by the name of Chastity Saunders. And so, uh, you know, it just really it, it impacted us. And we said to ourselves that, you know, Miami, unfortunately, is a place where black children lose their lives to gun violence uh, pretty frequently. And that's uh, a problem for us. So we decided that we wanted to um, do something about that. And uh, we wanted to uh, raise funding for uh, the young child and her family uh, and all the expenses that comes with you know, unexpected tragedies like this. And so uh, we use the Hungry Black Man's, uh, you know, uh, reputation, if you will, with black owned restaurants. And, and we ask them to, uh, we ask them to uh, provide food uh, free of charge. And um, we would then sell the food. And then everything that we make from selling the food, we would give to the family. And uh, we've done this with uh, Master Johnson, who was a, a 16 year old, young man who was also uh, lost his life. We did this for um, Alana Washington, who was a seven-year-old who lost her life. Uh, very similar to Chastity, uh, was shot in the head. We did this for um, uh, Josh Akram, who also was 17 years old, lost his life. Uh, and unfortunately, it's, you know, it's, it happens. And so our goal is to provide that sort of human side to uh, black lives, right? Like, you know, folks talk about the whole Black Lives Matter movement and uh, that, has its, that has its own uh, goal, you know? And, and, and I think that it's not so much Black Lives Matter, it's do we value black lives, right? Like, is it valuable? Because something mattering uh, is the very basic, right? It's the very bare minimum of something mattering, but is it valuable, you know? And so uh, children, they're valuable to us. And so that's what today was all about, to show that uh, Chassie Saunders is valuable and her life was valuable. That's gonna wrap things up here from Overtown, guys. The food was simply delicious, all for a good cause. If you're wondering how much it was, it's 20 bucks for a box pretty much, it comes with the dessert and your drink and all the money 100% goes to the families of the victims. Hope you like this video. The food, 100% worth it. Those ribs were a 10. Super delicious. The mac and cheese, an 8. That was some good stuff. Collard greens, I'll give it a 7. That was also delicious. Seafood rice, the same. And that banana pudding, man. That was a 10. That was one of the tastiest desserts I ever had. Delicious stuff, guys. Hope you're hungry and I'll catch you guys on the next one.